Hi folks, Paul here. In the middle of last year, I helped a bunch of arty, bicycle -y people put together some battery packs for some LED bicycle art project that they were doing. And so I helped them with some, and then they went away and made some on their own. And now I have reacquired their batteries and I'm going to have a look and see what they did and see how I can make them safer. So there's a power lead, a balance charge lead, a switch and a whole lot of duct tape. Let's have a look. So most of these volunteers were not electrically inclined and this might have been their first soldering job which is a bit um, unnerving because if you if you get it wrong you can cause a battery to short circuit so here we go one two three four five six it's a P4S6 pack and the soldering on that is not too bad really all things considered if it had been me I would have tried to solder it in the middle of the strappings so these are, they um, employed the do everything in pairs philosophy that I taught them um, I would have uh, soldered in between the batteries so that the heat is distributed um, evenly between the two batteries and there's more chance for it to dissipate before starting to um, overheat um, the innards. But they didn't do that. Um, there's potential here for a short circuit between the positive and the negative outer if that had been damaged um, otherwise this doesn't look too good I don't like don't like it when the outer insulation is damaged because then there's much more chance of short circuiting um, and that's nicely hidden under some heat, gun heat gunk uh, it does look like a bomb, doesn't it? Um, it's got no protection circuitry whatsoever, no cutout, no fuses, nothing. Um, so my plan is, now that I see it, I'll probably disassemble it and recreate it with fuses and a BMS so that it is less dangerous. Hmm, uh, so that's one. Here's another one. I'm almost frightened to see what's inside that. And this one here, this one is slightly uglier. Um, <laughs> this is interesting. There's no connection to this battery at all. I managed to forget that one. Hey. Um, oh boy. So the implications of that are that the capacities of the parallel sections are all totally out of whack. Let's see what's on the other end. So that, that one is not connected to anything on that end, on this end it is. <laughs> 
<laughs> they've soldered it from there to there instead of from there to there. Yes, okay. Um, slightly terrifying um, and amazing that nothing went wrong on the day. Everything went absolutely fine and all the battery packs performed fantastically well. Uh, but that needs re rebuilding. And this one, let's see what's in here. The event that these were made for was just one night, so they only had to survive something like three or four hours. Um, so the soldering on here is not that nice looking. I can imagine that peeling off, perhaps. Um, and it's still pretty ugly. And it, it's very disconcerting to me that there are these, looks like melting spots, where they have poked their soldering iron and possibly short-circuited that cell. Uh, yes. Uh, what I think I will do is pull these apart and re-capacity test all the cells to make sure they don't have anything that is now dead. Hmm. Alright, well, that's a bit of a job. Uh, the other thing they had was this monster pack and currently one of the um, groups is at zero volts. So there's something bad happening in, in that one as well. Hmm, okay. I have much to do. I'll do another video once I get a bit further on with these. Thanks for watching. Cheers.